Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another video guide for Cyberpunk 2077. In this video, folks, I'm not going to show you how to get just one weapon, but two weapons that you can easily miss. The first ones will be the guns that Jackie Wells has there over there. Now, of course, for this, you have to meet certain requirements or do certain things in your story or gameplay. And the first thing you'll need to do is at the end of the heist mission, you have to tell Delamain to take Jackie's body back to his family. After that, you will have a mission where there's like a funeral service. So you'll have to attend that. And you'll come here to El Coyoto, uh, Coho or whatever. I'm not good with Spanish, so I probably butchered that, which is right here. So this is where you'll have the mission marker for that. And you'll get a bike, you'll get Jackie's bike. And then basically, once you're done with that, what you do is you leave the area, wait about 24 hours, and then come back and you will have the guns on the side. So these are easily missed because if you did not send Jackie's body back to his family, the service won't take place. And you won't have these guns now they are rare iconics and of course you can upgrade them to epic and even legendary once you have the necessary skills so as you can see you do get two of them and to upgrade them you will have to have the skills uh in crafting that allows you to of course make legendary items the damage on them is not necessarily great because these are supposed to be things that you pick up early in the game. I'm doing this quite late. I am at level 22. I've just been too busy exploring the game and trying to find things that I can play around with. So we're going to do this. So this is the La Chingada Dorada. Uh, probably butchered that one as well. So we're going to upgrade them. I've tried clicking on them a couple of times, but they seem to have a standard uh, DPS so it does not go any higher than too far. Oh, never mind. It does. Oh, well 266 is the highest. I'm gonna try and get the highest DPS on them. I'm not gonna use them I do have other guns that I prefer. Uh, I'm personally quite fond of the comrades hammer So once you've upgraded them to the epic iconic you can then find them here in the legendary section and again they do seem to cycle through two types of DPS. So we're going to go for the highest DPS. I'm not sure what difference that makes in the damage that these guns do. And that's pretty much it. You then have Jackie's two guns. Now, I decided to include these in this video because it's a very short video. Nothing too uh, much to do on it. Just to kind of explain how to get these guns. However, the main focus of this video will be the Sir John Falstiff, I believe. Falstiff weapon which is a melee weapon it is a dildo this game has a lot of dildos uh, but it is a really good and powerful melee weapon that you will want to pick up so we're going to get into that in a couple of seconds so here we are this is the weapon that we were on about it is a melee weapon it is of course as you can see a dildo i'm probably not going to monetize this video because it i don't know i don't think it'll do too well with the monetization i think youtube might not like it but i will show it nonetheless of course this is another iconic weapon that you can pick up and the way to get this is to side with meredith when you do the introduction into the game so when you have a choice of meeting Meredith, go and meet her, uh, get the chip off of her, the credit chip off of her, and obviously infect the Maelstrom computers and kill all the Maelstrom. You will have sided with her later. She will send you a message. You reply to that message uh, with something along the lines of ask to see her tattoos. So she'll say that she she thanks you for it basically in short and you have two options the option you want to pick is ask to see or something along the lines of it's a shame i would have liked to have seen your tattoos she will then send you another message with a location this is a location to the hotel hotel and of course that is your romance scene with meredith it's a very short story with her but after that you do have this dildo this weapon this melee thing <laughs> which is overpowered uh for what it is to pick up you can of course also easily miss this once you've left the area i believe you cannot find it again so do not miss it it is definitely a weapon worth picking up and as you can see it does a lot of damage it has electrical damage chemical damage physical damage and thermal damage so 
it is on par with the cotton mouth which is the weapon that you can get from fingers it is another weapon that you can miss you do not want to punch fingers uh, and of course if you've left fingers office and return later on you cannot access the bedroom where you will find that weapon so again another weapon that is easily missed but i'll cover that in a separate video of course, as you saw, it comes in the rare quality, so you will have to upgrade it to Epic, and then, of course, upgrade it to the Legendary version of this. As you can see, it does cycle through quite a few uh, numbers when you get the DPS, so when you want to craft it, you want to craft it with the highest DPS, and after that, you still want to do some upgrades on it just to get that damage high up. It does have some uh, slot mods that you can or mod slots, better said, my English isn't very good at this point in time, that you can make use of. I suggest you do. It does help. Every little damage does help. And this is a very powerful melee weapon. It is actually on par with Cottonmouth in my books, and it's also on par with Satori. Of course, this has a couple of more things going for it in terms of damage. It does get, whilst it has less damage than Cottonmouth on paper, it does get boosted by the additional electrical and uh, physical damage that it gets. So you can end up basically one-shotting people by just whacking them across the face with this weapon. Now, of course, it is a non-lethal weapon, so it is very good for taking down the Cyber Psychos. So I'm going to find some trouble and... Uh, Actually, before I do that, I just want to show you the location of an hotel motel, which is right here. This is where you will come and romance Meredith if you follow what I told you before. So, first things first, you want to side with the Militech. You want to basically reply to Meredith's uh, text by saying that it's a shame. Uh, you would have liked to have seen her tattoo. So, it's kind of that simple. Nothing too complicated. And let's go and find some trouble. There's some trouble right ahead. We're going to go and pick a fight with these guys. I'm going to use the melee weapon that we just got, which is very fun. So let's go and whack them across the face with it. There we go. Oh, they're not happy that I'm looking at them. Okay, should have equipped it before all that. That's fine. My armor should suffice. Oh, my lord. Come on. There we go. <laughs> As you can see, it does make a buzzing noise, so it is quite cool. <laughs> There are a lot of dildos in this game, I have to admit. Come on. They have every shape and size. And where's the other guy? I know there's another guy around here. Where's he hiding? Okay, he's not here. Oh, there he is. And there you go. One dildo across the face does the job. Pretty powerful. I do like it. Definitely worth picking it up. So I've been playing around with this, it's, uh, I've tried different level enemies that do seem to kind of go down really quick with this. I've even gone against what would be classed as deadly enemies and this thing is really good. Especially when the additional damage on uh, whatever, you know, uh, so on the shock on the chemical damage, when those proc it does a lot of damage, so really good and I'm personally enjoying this weapon, it is very funny to use uh, if you think about it and it somehow throws me back to the good old days of GTA San Andreas where you had a dildo there as well. So final test, we're gonna go against a cyber psycho, I don't know what level this fella or lass is, I'm not quite sure what's going on here, we're gonna pick up this thing, so over here we are in the vicinity of an area that would have a cyber cycle, of course you can also block with it, which is really funny, as I discovered, um, I'm not sure how effective that would actually block incoming damage, but it does do the job, so who's, who's counting, and now, uh, okay, so that is the cyber cycle, whack, whack, <laughs> oh, this is so fun, I'm enjoying this, I think, I'm kind of sad right now that I didn't go for a melee build. Uh, bear in mind, I do not have a melee build, and this thing is really effective at taking enemies down. As you can see, she is still alive, so that takes the Cyber Psycho quest. Of course, there is a chance of killing your enemies from the additional damage, from the shock damage, from the chemical damage, so keep that in mind. But it generally is a good weapon. And that is pretty much it for this video, folks. I do hope that you have enjoyed it, found it useful and informative. If you have, please do not forget to support me in the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. 
And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos and content to the channel. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethopia Discord links. That's, of course, you can find down below in the video's description. And until next time, stay safe, folks.